Okay, I'm setting up my Rosnol lens. I star tested this mirror. I know it was very well corrected. And what I wanted to demonstrate was that it's changing the lens to mirror distance that changes the reading and correction, not the knife edge to the lens. And let me see, it's still a little tilt error, so let me fix it. And a lot of times when I adjust the tilt, the rotation changes too, so get the tilt right first and then get the rotation. So I'm about, I'm at the accurate distance right now. What I'm going to do is move the lens in closer to the mirror two inches and you can see the change in correction reading. See, with two Ronke lines, you could clearly see that the lines bow in. And this is showing and under correction if it was at the accurate distance let me see now I move the lens one inch in closer than I'm supposed to I'm almost within tolerance of a quarter wave and you can see how straight the lines almost look and a good way when you're looking at it like this let's say two lines and you look at the lines and like oh well that looks straight that might be straight enough you put it on the other side of radius of curvature and see how the other side of the lines look and it it'll clearly show you that it still needs some work see that almost looks straight if, if it was just that alone you'd be like oh, maybe maybe so and I'm hand holding the camera because I keep on moving the setup and can't put it on a tripod See, I'm on the outside of radius of curvature, and you can see how the lines are bowing out. And also, if this was at the correct distance, this would show an under correction. Outside of radius of curvature, it shows. Outside of radius of curvature, the lines bow out. It's under correction. Now, I'm further away from the mirror than I'm supposed to be, and I'm inside radius of curvature you can see the lines are bowing out this is showing overcorrection so when you move the lens away it adds correction when you move it closer in it it lowers correction now this is outside of radius of curvature and the, you can see the lines are clearly bowing in so that shows overcorrection distance. Another way to set up the lens is not even set it up with measuring it accurately, it's just set it up and get the lines exactly straight, then measure the distance to the mirror. And if you have to move the lens in to get the accurate to get the accurate read um, to get the accurate distance, then you know you're under corrected. Because sometimes like this, you're like, oh, look, two lines, they're almost straight. Let me see, that should be good enough. But when you keep on flipping it on both sides of radius of curvature, you know, that helps. See? <coughs> Inside, outside.